Today we're learning how to be the ultimate, perfect wife according to the most qualified people to judge us. Christian wife influencers on TikTok. Yes, they exist. Let's find out if I'm a good wife or not. Not a good one, I'll do it. Let's go. This video is for comedy purposes only. Please do not go and hate on any of these creators. We are not saying that these creators are wrong for the way they choose to live their lives, but rather we disagree with the judgmental tone these videos have towards women and what it takes to be a good Christian. A strong sense of humor is advised. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so gear up because today we are going through intense training. I'm in my 1950s gear. This is bulletproof. This is spaghetti proof. This is horny husband proof. No, it's not. <laughs> we are going to be raising our daughters to be homemakers and not career women. Being a homemaker will be option A for our daughters, and here's why. Yeah, she's saying it's option A, and, but you know, I got, I got some uh, a spidey sense here that it's also going to be option B, C, D, E, F, G, you don't know Z. That. You don't know that. Maybe option <laughs> B is like being a lesbian communist. That doesn't mean that she won't ever have a job or will never go to school, but that does mean that she will be fully equipped with the skills necessary to manage a home, run a home-based business, care for children, submit to her husband. How committed are we to actually teaching her all all the things that a wife needs to learn. Monday, you know, maybe she's learning how to make ravioli or whatever the f But then Tuesday is how to suck d Wednesday is how to grapefruit your man. Thursday is how to ride the d Nicki Minaj style, King Solomon style. <laughs> the non-GMO, unvaccinated, s sucking method. That's true. These chicks are obsessed with having kids. <laughs> So they gotta teach them how to get cream pie. Bro, these girls always have like 10 kids. Yeah. They'd be knowing how to ride the d okay? That's true. I'm just saying, That's true. I'm just saying. We wouldn't want our daughters to wander around confused after they graduate high school and, you know, in college jumping from major to major and just racking up a ton of debt. We want our daughters to be available to maybe any friends or if we have multiple daughters um, for when our sons start having kids to be available to help out with their their children. Wait, do they have sons? She just mentioned her sons for the first time. She said if her daughters go to college, oh God, they're gonna be going from major to major. They're gonna be so confused. But for our sons, who gives a f <laughs> They deserve it, I guess. She's not really leaving that much, you know, time for self-exploration there. I mean, she's pretty much saying that at 18, she expects that her daughters must get, you know, jelly Dunkin' Donuts cream filled every night and just be a Shein freaking baby sweatshop making factory out here. You know how like the US military has a really bad like reputation for like manipulating 18 year old kids in high school to like join the military. Yeah. At least they give them like some sort of prize. I mean like what, if you join the military at 18, you get like a bonus, a truck, three years of spending 24 seven with other muscly 18 year old boys. <laughs> but like being a trad wife and trying to convince, she's, she's not giving us anything. And what's the benefits that you get from it? You can learn time management skills that you could probably learn getting a summer job at Culver's, and you get to be the, the, the donut shell, okay? I don't wear pants, and people usually have a lot of questions about that, so I figured we'd do a little chat about modesty. I stopped wearing pants in 2018 shortly after I was saved. <laughs> Before she was saved? Saved from what? Pants? <laughs> Modesty looks different for everyone, but for me, I took a hard look at what I was wearing and the why behind it. This was super important because it led me to realize that I was dressing certain ways to attract attention, whether I knew it or not. A lot of what is in fashion today is very eye-catching and seductive for young women. I realized that this way of dressing didn't align with my values and beliefs about the Lord and what I am called to do as a Christian woman, keeping the focus on Him and not on myself. Now, I'm not saying I believe every woman should adhere to my own personal modesty convictions, but simply that I felt called to start dressing in a way that I felt was honoring to the Lord. For me, that looks like not wearing pants, tight-fitting or revealing dresses, or low-cut tops. I just love that the implication of this video is that like on Judgment Day, she's walking around in her like TJ Maxx original blue dress and God's like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 you. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. 
He's yeah. like, that That was the whole point of the book. She says like, oh, well, I don't, this is just for me. I don't judge anybody. But then she proceeds to judge and be like, oh, but if you wear pants, you're a seductive. Dude, I, like, I'm a horny guy. Pants are not seductive. I feel like she was driving her Subaru to softball practice. <laughs> and she saw all the other ladies in their baseball uniforms in their tight white pants. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, <laughs> something's wrong here, clearly. She saw her Grubhub driver walking with like the Cookie Monster PJ pants. She's just like, oh my God, oh my Becker God. and knees are sweating. She sees the Gen Z girlies on TikTok wear the Aladdin parachute pants. She's just like, nah, I'm not making it to heaven. <laughs> And before you ask, yes, there have been a few occasions where I've worn pants over the past few years, horseback riding and other outdoor activities like that. <laughs> Sorry, I was tempted. Oh no, she said she went horseback riding. Not virgin enough for Nate anymore, nope. dude. She's no longer an A5 Wagyu virgin. No, she's, she's, she's a C tier. C tier virgin. Yeah tried to look up what line in the Bible she might be referencing, and I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure the one she's referencing comes from Deuteronomy, where it says men and women shouldn't swap clothes. One of the rules in Deuteronomy is that if a guy has his balls smooshed, he can no longer come into church. That's a real law for Deuteronomy. <laughs> so I just, that's, that's where we're getting our advice from. If you are depressed, you may notice that he is depressed. If you make it a point to be cheerful, it may surprise you what a difference it makes in your husband when he has good reason not to be cheerful. You can create a climate for him according to your attitude, and this is part of your job as a wife. As a woman who has had a job that most, I mean, a lot of men have, I used to work in consulting, okay? I'm telling you bitches right now, there is not a single thing that can happen to him at his workplace that is more chaotic than being home all day with a bunch of children doing housework. Oh, I have to put out fires. He, 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 gotta tell everyone that we're laying them off. <laughs> How does that equate to having one kid make an indoor hockey rink out of the ice maker machine, and then the other one making his own American Ninja Warrior parkour course outside using his mom's vibrator? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that, like, you know, he can't have a stressful day either. Everyone has bad days, but it shouldn't be up to one person to have to be in charge of that whole thing. This is literally lobotomy core. Yeah. This is just a robot at this point. I am a depressed wife ah, turning I'm... down my depression, turning ah. up interest in your complaint about my dinner. Thank you. Yeah, it was a little dry. It was Error. a little dry. Vagina has been unstimulated for too long. What? Error, running out of to give about your day. Oh no. <laughs> Things we do in a Christian relationship part four. I, I gotta pause really quick. These two would bully the <laughs> out of me in high school. <laughs> yeah. If I saw these two lurking in the shadows in high school, I know I'm ending up on a toilet in the next two seconds. One second, they're like, you bitch, you're disgusting and you're ugly. No one likes you here. Oh, you like Weezer? The and then like on Instagram, they're like, John 13, 14 said, God, Jesus, and kindness above all. Things we do in a Christian relationship, part four. Always leave a seat in the middle of us. Don't hold hands, just link pinkies. <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, we're just making it up at this point. Yeah. You like, know? Oh, maybe if we're even more pure, like we gotta go above and beyond to get God's forgiveness, dude. I'm so pure, the porn I watch doesn't even have women in it, okay? That's how far away from temptation I wanna be. Dude, I'm so pure, I don't even watch porn with people in it. Dude. It's furries or nothing. Dude, I'm so pure, I skip half the Bible where there's prostitutes in it. Fun Christian activities we love to do together. I'm do they excited. literally look like the alternative universe version of us? I say that, they do. <laughs> that's, that's literally what we look like though. The, the outfits and everything. Yeah, and they're huge millennials based on Yeah, look at that face version. dude. That's the face I make when I twerk. Fun Christian activities we love to do together. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues? <laughs> that's the first one speak in tongues. Maybe they like speak parcel tongue like Harry Potter. Yes, parcel tongue, Dothraki. <laughs> they didn't even include 
dance like it's our first time because we're from the town in Footloose where they're not allowed to dance. So they're just like figuring it out as they go. No, they, they're dancing as if they're going to a club where they only played songs from Hamilton the musical. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to church and you're in full Christian rave mode, surrounded by other Christians, you guys are euphoric, and you start speaking in tongues, it's a little strange, but that's your religion, whatever. They're just casually doing that at home? Bible study. Spontaneous worship. Communion. How do you guys have less secular <laughs> hobbies than the characters in the Bible? <laughs> Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> Even the guys in, in the Bibles were, you know, hooking up with prostitutes and drinking with the boys on the fr on Fridays, you know yeah. what I mean? I feel like Jesus was a foodie at least. Perhaps, I mean, he did like do a mukbang where he passed out a bunch of <laughs> fish and bread to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I when people say Bible study and they're 50 and they've been studying the Bible their whole life like what are you guys studying? The Harry Potter adults are gapping you guys. <laughs> Every Harry Potter adult, they can tell you the exact fragrance of Hagrid's pubes <laughs> from memory. But then there are lifelong Christians who can't even tell you the contents of one of the entire books of the Bible. Dude, at this point, it's like Every single one of these TikToks is just them making some random shit up, slapping Christianity on it, and calling it a f***ing day. Like, we can do that. Yeah. Once I make my move, the queen will take me. Then you're free to check the king. No. <laughs> All right, the girls who understand raw milk over oat. Raw milk? She drinks unpasteurized milk? Does she have a cow, like, on near her house? Dude, extra points if it's raw milk and you suck it straight from the cow's teeth. Making sourdough versus buying bread. Every one of these bitches are obsessed with f***ing sourdough. I don't even know if I've had sourdough. Me neither. Having babies over being childless, being traditional over being progressive. How traditional are we talking here? I mean, are, are we like grinding? Are we are we digging up our own water? Yeah. Are we pooping outside in an outhouse? Yeah, how traditional you know? can you really be if you're a TikTok influencer? <laughs> we're, you know yeah, what I mean? I we're TikTok influencers. We're not super traditional. <laughs> you're closer to us than you are to Anne of Green Gables <laughs> or something, you know? Tracking your cycle over the pill. Submitting versus being controlling. Dude, every time one of these bitches talk about submitting, it like, Sends a chill down my spine. Also, they just have such a big obsession with submitting. Isn't that what yeah. the S in BDSM stands for? <laughs> That's a good point. It's weird how close these guys are coming to weird sexual yeah. fetish territory. Okay, so this section of the video, I wanted to show you a bunch of trad wife TikToks. All right, first we have Gwen the Milkmaid. And uh, I would like to say that she's like the leader of Trad Wife TikTok right now. Like, sure. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's just watch. Welcome to the side of social media where we're learning to homestead in the suburbs, cook from scratch, bake sourdough, garden barefoot, and know how corrupt and the government and big pharma is. <laughs> I love how she had to throw in the bear barefoot yeah. part in there just to make sure that the men were listening as yeah. well. POV, me, when I realized the conservative, crunchy, anti-vax ladies were actually right about everything. Dude, this bitch is more scared about the polio vaccine and gluten than she is about Judgment Day. Yeah. I mean like, holy cow, dude. POV, you used to be a pro-abortion, anti-marriage, lesbian feminist. But now you're getting married to your fave man on earth. Love serving him. Oh my God. And can't wait to make a lot of babies. <laughs> she said she's a lesbian and then just what? Stopped being attracted to women? She's just like, disabling attraction to women, selling my Subaru. I am now a trad wife. Like, <laughs> Also, I love all these ladies are like, I can't wait to have a ton of babies. I will have a lot of babies. I'm going to have a lot of it. They always say that. I want to see you put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Have 15 kids and then make these videos. Exactly. How about you just raw dog it every day? <laughs> that's, the, that's a true godly way is to raw dog it every single day. Yeah. John 
69.69. Raw dog every day. Traditional wives submit to their husband. Don't buy $8 lattes. We make our own at home. Don't shame their husband. We lift them up. Believe in for better or for worse. No divorce. I may not know how to put on false eyelashes, but I do know how to bake bread from scratch. Do these, do these chicks bake anything else? What about a steak or a chicken breast? <laughs> All they do is make bread. I know. God's not like, if you make bread, if you make sourdough, you will be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. He never says that. <laughs> Dude, if Moses ate, made sourdough bread and he didn't wear pants, like the Pharaoh might have listened. <laughs> Atheists, they don't want to see my after I've been eating some sourdough bread, mm. okay? Atheists, how can you explain sourdough bread? Yeah. Checkmate. This has to be fetish. Yeah. This, I mean, it has to be. Hey guys, it's Editing Missy here. And after we filmed this video, Gwen the Milkmaid posted this video where she said that she used to be an OF model. So when we said that this was starting to feel like fetish content, we weren't completely out of left field, okay? So you guys can do whatever you want with that information. I would love to know your opinions on whether or not you think that this is still fetish content or not. But just thought that we would give you guys a little bit of information. Okay, back to the video. This is like the the dream woman for random conservative incels on the internet. You don't like taking the vaccine? You're so smart. Her boobs jiggled delightfully in her Shein summer dress as she took out the sourdough from the oven. Yeah. Written and directed by Discord mod Redditor 85. You know, I, and I love how every single one of these creators that we looked at today, okay? They are, they're all saying that this is things that you need to do to get closer to God, how to be a better Christian, how to be a better wife, right? Not a single one of them have ever mentioned something that was actually like helping other people. None of them have ever said like, oh yeah, like maybe go to church and let go of some trauma. Maybe apologize for some bad things you've done in the past. Go volunteer. Seriously, none of these people have ever said anything that was remotely Christian at all. As always, don't go hate on these people. We just disagree with some of the stuff that they're saying. But, uh, you know, we just think little girls should be able to determine what they want to do for themselves. And if they end up choosing this kind of lifestyle, that's fine. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Please. Um, <laughs> Go and follow me on my other platforms where I'm even more annoying and we will see you in our other video where we make fun of more people.